Well, the results are in, showing that Minnesota is at the top of a national poll when it comes to the well-being of our children. The poll includes indicators from the economy all the way to education. But Governor Mark Dayton says there's still room for improvement. Here's Megan Reistead. The Annie E. Casey Foundation ranks the states, calling it Kids Count, showing Minnesota leads in more than being the land of 10,000 lakes. Minnesota came in number one overall, leading in the well-being of children. Just ask the Bunny family. This is Isaac and Olivia and Tarunkla, Claire and Josie. Raising four kids in Stewartville, Katie Bunny says Minnesota is a pretty good place to be. I just think this area is just a great place to raise your children. So where do the numbers come from? The study ranks areas like economic well-being, health care, education, and family and community issues, comparing numbers from 2008 to 2013. Even with a rank of number one, Governor Dayton says there is work to be done. Pride in what we've accomplished so far, but this is not a, a, a reason for complacency at all. It's a reason to recommit ourselves. On Tuesday, he met at the Division of Indian Work in Minneapolis to address higher rates of minority children in poverty and with chronic disease, also saying the state lags in early childhood education. In early childhood, they're going to produce a better reading results by the end of third grade, which is another one of the markers. Uh, we know there's a direct correlation, but as I said, it means that we need to redouble our efforts, and I intend to see that we do. Growing up and now raising kids in Minnesota, ranking or not, the Bunny family is sticking around. I think that this area is very supportive of families and um, everyone has their family around and it's important to them and the community is important. In Rochester, Megan Rice at ABC 6 News. Minnesota ranked high on the list last year as well, coming in fifth overall. However, the state has lagged behind with one of the worst disparities when it comes to care for minority children.